A young man echoed this summation to me the other day, one that I've heard many times before, when asking him if he knew about Jesus and speaking of heaven. I'm not a bad person, I'm a pretty good person. I explained to him that it's not through our own righteousness that we enter into heaven. If we don't have the righteousness of God through our faith in Jesus Christ imputed to us, then when we stand before God, we will be rejected of him. As it is written, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It is written, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Saviour, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. As it is written, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Not one person will be able to stand before God and say, Well, I know why I'm here. I was such a good person. I didn't do bad things. I did good works. Why, look at all the things I've done. I have fully earned my place in heaven. I'm worthy. It is written, But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. Base means humble persons or ones perhaps considered lower class in society. Despised means looked down upon by society, to hold in contempt, to disdain, to scorn. Just why does God choose these types of people? As it is written, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Sanctification means purification and freedom from sin. God gave his Son that through our faith in him we might be made righteous enough to enter into heaven. As it is written, For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him, and to be found in him, not having mine own righteousness which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. There are people who go about trying to make themselves seem righteous. Like many heads of religious bodies, they are persons who in actual fact are lost souls. They are as the scribes and Pharisees. Their hearts are far from God. They pretend to serve him. They do not understand the grace of God at all. As it is written, for they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. 
There is only one who is good, and that is God. Even Jesus himself said the following. As it is written, And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save one, that is God. Under Old Testament times it is written of Abraham. It is written, and the scripture was fulfilled which said Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him for righteousness and he was called the friend of God. It is further written of Abraham and therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him but for us also to whom it shall be imputed if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification impute or imputed means to attribute to or to consider as belonging to the important thing to remember in all this is that God sees all things and knows all things. He knows the very thoughts and intents of our hearts. He knows them that are his and he seeks after his own and draws them to himself for salvation. As it is written, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. It is written, No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. As Job said, for I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Heaven awaits all those who believe on Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who gave his life as the ultimate sacrifice for the sins of mankind, that we who believe on him and who are born again of his Holy Spirit may live eternally in heaven.